Hello and welcome. This is Real Numbers video number three, and today we are going to solve questions using Euclid's division lemma. So let's find out how can we solve a question like this. Show that any positive odd integer is of the form 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3, or 6q plus 5, where q is some integer. Now I'll be the first person to admit it is very hard to draw a connection between these type of questions and Euclid's division lemma. It gets even more challenging, especially if you have not seen these questions recently, meaning this is in the beginning of the school year and then we get on to learn with more algebra, trigonometry and other things. So this is very hard. So that means before any major exam, I will strongly recommend you quickly do a refresher on real numbers and these type of questions in particular. So that said, let's find out now what is Euclid's division lemma and how can we use to solve this. In our earlier videos, we have learned a great deal about what Euclid's division lemma is. It simply states that if you have two positive integers a and b, then there must exist unique integers q and r such that we can write a equals b times q plus r, where r should be greater than or equal to zero and less than b. I'm going to provide the video links of those previous videos here as well. So let's find out. So how does that help us solve this question? So what we are going to do is we are going to assume a is our any positive odd integer. So a is any positive odd integer. Now, in order to apply Euclid's division lemma, we have to divide a by b. So we have to pick a divisor. So Euclid's division lemma states that a then will be equal to the divisor times quotient plus r. So if we closely look at this and map it to all of the three here, we notice that the divisor needs to be six, right? Six times Q, six times Q, six times Q. So that gives us the clue of what the divisor we should use. So that means we have to divide in the, uh, our, our uh, number a by 6. So when we do this, we get q and r. And then according to Euclid's division lemma, we should be able to write a equals 6 times q plus r. Now what is r? r is the remainder whose value can be greater than or equal to 0 because the remainder can be 0, but it must be less than 6, the divisor. Right now, let's find out what are possible values of r and let's rewrite a. So, let's say when we have r, so what are values of r? So, r can be 0, r can be 1, r can be 2, similarly, r can be 3, r can be 4, r can be 5. r cannot be 6, it has to be less than 6. So, when r is 0, what is a? So if r is 0, we see that a will be simply equal to 6q because r is 0 here, right? When r is 1, a will be equal to 6q plus 1. When r is 2, a is equal to 6q plus 2. Similarly here, we will get a is equal to 6q plus 3. And here we will have a equals 6q plus 4. And finally, a equals 6q plus 5. Now, what is a? a is a positive odd integer. Now, q can be any number, any integer. So, if we have q equals 1, then 6 times 1 is 6, which is an even number. If q is odd, which is say, well, 1 is odd. So, when q is odd, we get an even number. 6 times odd is even. When q is even, we get an even number. That means it looks like 6q will always be an even number. That means a cannot be 6q because a is a positive odd integer. That means this cannot be a possible value of a. Now, for the second case, 6q plus 1, well, 6q is always even. When we add 1 or any odd number to even, we get odd. So this will actually be a possible value for a because a is odd integer. Similarly, 
this cannot work because even number plus 2 is even number. Here, similarly, this actually will work because odd number, even number plus odd is odd. This will not work and this will work. So what we see indeed is that there are three values that will work. And what are the three values? A can be 6 cubed plus 1, which is exactly what we have, 6 cubed plus 1. A can be 6 cubed plus 3, which is exactly what we have, 6 cubed plus 3. And similarly, A can be 6 cubed plus 5, which is what we have here. So this is how we solve these type of questions using Euclid's division lemma. If you like the video and want to receive more videos, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you don't miss out on the new videos every time I upload the new videos.